I'm Michael Gagne, Executive Chef of the Robin Hood Meeting House in Georgetown, Maine, and President of Gagne Foods, a frozen food manufacturing operation that specializes in all-natural, freezer-to-oven bakery products. Today we're going to learn how to remove the seeds from strawberries. Although most people would find this totally unnecessary, sometimes uh, due to, say, a condition of diverticulitis or um, or dentures, uh, you may want to remove the tiny seeds because they can, one, aggravate your gastrointestinal system, or two, your gum line. So I have pureed and what we call whacked strawberries, which have been rinsed, destemmed, sliced, and sugared. And I'm going to take them and pour them into a very, very, very fine strainer. This is a commercial strainer. It's not a cheap one. It's made out of stainless steel. So now what we're doing is basically forcing the paste, let me lift this up so you can see it, forcing the paste through the strainer. You could do this with a more coarse strainer that you line with cheesecloth, but it becomes more difficult. The other reason that you might want to do this is you might find the difference between this, which has the tiny seeds in it, and this, which is a very pure and homogenous looking liquid. Um, you, may, you may want that, that look on the dish that you're designing. Personally, I like you know, the meeting house being in the country. I don't mind chunky things. Now we're going to take the pureed strained strawberry liquid, which also is a great base for sorbet, place it into a squeeze bottle. And this will allow you to create and paint designs. When placed into another sauce, like say a white sauce or an anglaise or a custard or a thickened cream. You can take the tip of a knife or a tooth or a tooth or a toothpick and slide it through the product, which makes a nice little connective decoration. Simple, but you can see it's it's very pretty. I'm Michael Gagne. This is how you puree strawberries and remove the seeds.